Hey, what's going on everybody? Texas Nova here guys. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, you're not going to believe this, but today I am charging my air conditioner. Let me show you what we got. So right here below me, wow, look at that. Got my air conditioner going. Guys, it is so hot. Let me tell you, Dallas, it's, it's not even what, June? And man, it's hot. It's 95 degrees, man. And right in this old car with no AC, no vents, no nothing, no air blowing, it's hot. So all I got now is just my wing vents right there. Right there. That's all I got. But anyway, guys, let me get this camera flipped around. Let me uh, let me show you what we got here with this noise going on. There you go. It is going. It is pumping. I'm going to do a triple back. Um, my neighbor was gracious enough to send me a bottle of nitrogen and his vacuum pump. Since my vacuum pump, that dog pile right there, it went to pot on me. But I uh, kind of give you guys a breakdown of what we got on the guts of the car. As you guys can see right here, this is the brains of my uh, my LS3 right there. I do got the inside the fender well. If you guys may have already seen some pictures, you don't know, you don't see that. Everything is tucked up underneath there. That right there is my transmission uh, computer box or my brains, whatever you want to call it. That is up against the firewall. You don't see that either. Now, uh, my bulkhead, this here did came, this did come from Restomod Air. I wish I hadn't got that. That is a beautiful piece. It is what it is, but that is meant to be shown off. It is pricey. Huh. But anyway, there was that hole there where the fan motor went in. I needed to close that off. I didn't know. I wish I could have just welded that off and got me like a $30 bulkhead but I didn't. This right here was like $300. I wish I hadn't paid for it, but it is what it is. So these are all my hoses. These are going to be run inside of the fender well and my heater. My heater hose is here. These will be tucked up in there. I will not be hooking these up in the summertime because I don't need it. That's it right there. That is, uh, you need that? You need that piece right there if you do not hook up your heater. You cannot just cap those off per GM. Uh, they said it will screw the motor up. Uh, the internals, don't ask me how, I don't know. I just read it. Uh, per GM, you need this little loop around hose for your water pump. Boom, enough said. So, uh, I am going to do a triple vac. And as you see, I am down to 30 microns. There is my uh, nitrogen right there. So, boom, uh, I did like a dummy. Um, I could have had this already done, but my two heater hoses right here, I had this one under here. So I was like, why the hell do I have a freaking vacuum leak? And that's what it was right there. So, but luckily I went ahead and then switched out because one of those gaskets, uh, those little rubber O-rings was bad. I did rip it because I did get it down too tight. So, but that is fixed, that is ready to go. So now let me show you what we got on the inside here, guys. Let's go on inside. Right, this is it here. This is my AC unit right here. I know you really can't see much with all my vent tubes, but um, that is it right there. That is from Restomod Air. Good company, good young company that's starting out and trying to carve their way in the air conditioning aftermarket world. Uh, I don't have a problem with it. It seems to be working fine, but other than that, uh, customer service, because the customer service seems to be spot on. Um, anytime you, I, I kind of call them, bam, they're Johnny on the spot helping me out. Uh, so you guys may be wondering what all this is here. This is my keyless system my and get focused right there that is my uh go keyless that is for my uh digital guard dog for my start and stop right there and old faithful here dakota digital love me some dakota digital man if you guys don't have dakota digital you got to get it and that is that right there beautiful piece beautiful so I do got to mount that. Uh, I do have it off because I was I didn't want to mount everything. So I didn't want to mount anything uh, just yet, just in case till I uh, knew that there wasn't any leaks or anything. It'd be kind of stupid to tuck everything back up in there and say, "Oh shit, I got a leak," and then you know, old bulkhead uh, on the inside is leaking. I got to take everything back out. Trust me, it's a pain in the ass. So, but I'm gonna do a triple vac on it. And oh, let me show you. Uh, before we start, uh, I did go ahead and order me a, a vac and a manifold. Uh, combo set off of uh, Amazon, so check it out. So what do you think? Not too bad? Yeah, for $125. So you go. You know, AC's almost done. AC's almost in. So we're going to be rocking and rolling. Guys, 
I'm closing down my videos. I'm not going to have much more to shoot, but just a couple more small episodes I want to do for you guys. One of them is going to be my TPMS uh, that I bought off of Amazon. I loved it. Uh, I'm going to do a video on that. Still working out just a little bit of quirk, so I want to make sure I get the information to you and get it to you right. The other one is my gear vendor. Guys, I love my gear vendor. Uh, if you don't know about gear vendor, it's an automatic under overdrive that splits your gears. If you got a four speed, three speed, two speed power glide, uh, 4060, 4080, whatever, four speed, three speed, like I said, uh, it splits your gears. So essentially, you will have eight gears if you have a four speed. If you have a turbo 350, you're going to have six. If you got a power glide, it's going to be four. It's a wonderful item. You know, it's just like shifting uh, 18 wheel. You know, 18 wheel has got 18 gears. Actually, it doesn't. It's got high and low, just like my car here. First, first high, second, second high, third, third high, fourth, and fourth high. I did shoot a video of it. I really didn't like how it turned out. I really couldn't see much. I did it with my 360 camera. So, you know, I deleted it. I'm going to go ahead and do it again to guys give you guys a real good video on it. So, but other than that, guys, I'm going to turn you loose. Uh, I'm going to work on some more videos for you. But like I said, if you, got any, if you guys got any videos or any questions, guys, I'm going to shoot you a video. Uh, if I can't answer it in the comments. You know, I love answering your comments and your questions or anything to help you guys along the way. And you know what? My knowledge is going to be your knowledge. So, But anyway, guys, I'm going to get on out of here. As always, drive safe. Be safe, guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next video.